Whatever. What up, CP? What's up, Lulu? What up, y'all? Okay, I missed got you, Lulu. On. Hey, Lou out here getting bread. She be you taking theater pictures on stage. Got this little brand deal. You know what I'm saying? The essentials. Yes. Shirt on. Lou got here getting that bread. Clear hey, frame. that nigga stop counting your pockets, man. Hey, that, nigga, that, stop that's exactly how, exactly how a nigga be before you start asking for $15. I know you out here killing them. You just the person. I was just telling God. Hey, CP, I, man. I CP just bought a you. jet. He filming his special on, on June 4th. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Atlanta. Hey, niggas yeah. getting money. My team winning out here, bro. Let me hold something, nigga. Yeah, hey, see, yeah. CP, you were right. Yeah, it took yeah, her like two yeah. minutes. <sighs> to hear, do you take checks? Jeez, <laughs> <bro>. Yes, nigga. <laughs> yes, nigga. Man, we just yeah. out here working, living the dream, you know? Mm, exactly. You know, That's God's tight, blessing, nigga. man. I won't be here without God's blessing. I'm just hey, doing God's work. Speak on it. Speak on I'm it. Just a beacon of light, you know? <laughs> Man. Lulu canceled with us last week because she had golfing lessons with Tiger Tiger Woods. So I mean, niggas is out here just living their best life, bro. You should have heard yeah. that voicemail, Tiger Leper. Lulu, I'm <laughs> serious. Get your fucking ass to the course, and we're not doing doing a whole eighteen today. I need you to delete this message. My wife is tripping. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, listen. The day I'm I'm working with Tiger, y'all will never see me again. I tell you that uh, with Tiger, yeah, Tiger Woods, not Tiger. Oh, I was <laughs> like, that's a. Which one? <laughs> I was like, that's a wild ceiling. Like, hey, as soon as I'm working with Tiger, I'm out this. <laughs> uh, Girl, he only works with he only works with white women. He only works with them. Oh yeah, he with Avril Lavigne now, right? A white women, yes. Tiger white Woods, women. both tigers. Mm. Wait, which ones with Avril Lavigne? Mm. Woods or my no God's name? Oh, that's mm. so is with Avril. That's what's up. Duh hey, with, uh, and yo, the ER yo. is with the other whites. Yo, I did uh, the improv last night. I was hosting the improv. Uh, shout out to James Davis. He got well, not shout out to him because he got sick, but he got sick. So I had to fill in for him. So this would have been his experience, but it winds up being mine. I go up, I do my thing, you know, um, for about fifteen minutes. Bring up the first comedian. Cool. Bring up the, I'm sorry, while the first comedian is up, Sarah Mello comes up to me. Hey, listen, um, change of plans. Dave Chappelle just walked in and uh, hilarious. He, you're going to bring him up. So I go on stage. She said, wait, but just wait, bring up one more comedian. So I bring up one, one more comic. And then she says, all right, when you go up, however you want to do it, just make an announcement that if they bring their phones out, um, they're going to get kicked out. Right. So nigga, it's Dave Chappelle. He's standing there watching me do comedy and bring this nigga up. I'm like, I, I can't just bring the nigga up. Like, hey, put your phones away. It's Dave. I mean, I could. I'm pretty sure anything else would annoy him, but I'm like, fuck it, nigga. I gotta annoy him. Right. So I'm like, um, I go up there and I do this joke about how um like dating now, you don't know how anybody looks. And when they take off all their makeup, whatever, it's a, it's a new joke I got up. It's on Top of Sundays right now. I did that joke and it's about like you, she took off everything and then you realize after you in love that this girl kind of ugly a little bit, right? And it's like, oh, but I said, I like telling that joke in LA because, and this is all going somewhere, so trust me. So I like telling that joke in LA because the women are so beautiful, so beautiful that if you was getting a blowjob or something, you would want to take your phone out and film it because nobody's gonna believe you. All these badass bitches, you know what I'm saying? You know, where you're wherever you're from to hear from St. Louis. Bitches ain't bad in St. Louis, you know what I'm saying? So like <laughs> he just, he just put out, you know. And so um, but I'm like, you don't want to do that though. As soon, as soon as you take your phone out, she wanna leave, right? Because that's her choice, right? She wants you to enjoy the moment, be in the moment, you know, what you want, head or footage. I mean, I know it's kind of like 49, 51, but you know what I'm saying? Like for the most part, you you got it, whatever. I'm like, so, you know, every now and then you, you get an opportunity to share a stage with a legend, right? So I'm about to bring in one of the best comedians in the world, but similar to that bad bitch. And then I go back into the whole thing. Like, look, if you take your phone out while this nigga is sucking our dicks, he's going to leave. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? Um, you what? <laughs> nigga, I mean, how else do you bring up Dave Chappelle if you're going to bring him up and you're a comic? Got came up, gave me a strong ass dap. You know what I'm saying? Like one of the ones. You know how nigga dap you, but he don't want to touch you. 
like pop, get off me. No, uh-huh. they wrap me up. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then I, I I had the opportunity to come and bring them off stage and then continue doing jokes. So the, the joke that I did, what do you do after Dave Chappelle goes off and you have to fucking tell a joke? I learned my lesson. Kevin Hart came up like that only one time and I was speechless. I didn't know what to say. This time I was ready. So like the crowd screamed so loud for Dave Chappelle and then I got on stage and I was like, you know, I'm I'm, I'm not a swinger, but I imagine this is what it feels like on your way to your first swingers party. And your wife is like, I don't even like big dicks like that. And then you hear her like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Just a great night to be able to say something funny before and after the go. It's so hard, bro, yeah. to know that a nigga who has probably thought of everything and said everything is right there to hear your shit. So it was dope. I had to share that with y'all. I mean, dope, TV, I don't I can't think of anybody that is uh more deserving of that than you. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, I, and more that's equipped. A, that's a wild joke. <laughs> that's a more wild equipped joke. to handle handle yeah. that situation. Look at it that way from a strategic standpoint. Because yeah. that's when it gets down to like the 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 dynamics of like strategically placing the right word and the right mm-hmm. joke and to lead into that joke to give them instruction and make it funny and familiar is is one thing and then to come off stage and do that dismount or as he's doing his dismount and still be funny and get their attention yeah. back on you nigga that's tactical that's as fuck there, nigga. there's a certain yeah. amount of fearlessness that you need to be a comedian and i think you handle that very very well so yeah. I'm excited that happened for you. I, that's that's sure. amazing. Congrats. Comparing it to a blowjob is wild. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but it's like, I think that for somebody like him, I feel like it's he his can style of comedy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, nigga, man. be waiting, be waiting for that text. That nigga hit you. Hey, big head, he was funny. It's day. <laughs> yes. Has he ever seen has has he ever met you before? I mean, just literally just in passing. When I was yeah. on Love Life um jordan rock is on love life with me and so like uh jordan who's chris rock's little brother basically grew up knowing dave chappelle so dave chappelle throws like a big party in new york uh every summer just for any comedians who know about it and it's just comedians in there like like water wall comics and but nobody told anybody i guess everybody went on secret but you get there like nigga why would you not tell me you was here anyway so um <laughs> I got a chance to talk to him, me and Jordan, when I got a chance to talk to him, just like him kind of being semi-drunk, giving us a speech, basically saying like, y'all are the new niggas who have to say the shit that everybody else is scared to say. And I felt like that that shit just stuck with me. It was was a quick 10 minute speech, right? Just between us, you know, like our little small group. But um, it was like, nigga, like, yeah, like we can't be scared to say the shit that is, scary for them to say sometimes you got to take your mind out of civilian mode and be like no dog i have to kill them you know what i'm saying or else nobody's gonna do it yeah you know what i'm saying that's so it was, yeah that's bro. dope man congrats, congrats. Bro. man that's super dope congrats. that was at the improv it's mm-hmm. at the improv last night mm-hmm. that's dope man hell yeah bro well shit man i, I ain't nothing gonna top that so i think this is a great spot for us to jump right into today's episode uh shout out to the og squad we got Meg scoop we got patrick cloud we got lulu we got cp in here of course up to hear more we're gonna jump into this first topic right after this this episode is sponsored by blue chew let's talk about sex guys remember the days when you were always ready to go Hmm? i know i do now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in the bedroom listen up y'all BlueChew.com. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at the fraction of the cost. You can take them at any time, all right, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever the opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in the line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Hey, they say there's nothing sexier than confidence, and Blue Chew can help give you confidence where it counts. 
Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. And we got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use the promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we want to thank Blue Chew for sponsoring our podcast. First topic of the day we have, would you rather find 100 snakes versus a person in your ba- basement? Fight 100 snakes? No, find 100 snakes versus okay. a person in your basement. So like- you hear a noise in your basement. So both are in the basement. No, it's Wait, one is this the like other. a person? Is this a person that lives there, or you? They no. just happen to. No, it's is a person, person crazy. Says it's, a, it's a stranger in your basement, nigga. I have a lot of guns, like nigga. This is so easy, like bro. I, I can kill one nigga. I can't kill a hundred snakes. Like I don't, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying like, what if I miss? You know, what I'm saying like, I'm do not snakes gonna attack? Nigga. You said what? Do snakes I mean, attack? Like this, I guess, right? I mean, yeah, I, I mean, you know, in, in your house, it probably started off at like 25, a small little party. And then you see what's happening right now. Like, no, they got to go. You said they invited I, more snakes over? Uh, what if no, it's like garden snakes them. and shit, though? They birthed them. Dog, Are these... that video where the snakes fell out the ceiling? That's all oh, I yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But those were big back. ass, like, constrictor snakes. Like, are we talking about the ones that wrap you or the ones that bite you? How long you been on this evil ass podcast to know that every parameter that to here could possibly, the snakes are all eight feet long. You know that. The way to hear things. <laughs> but are <laughs> they the grabbers or the, the biters? The, the boy, cons- boy constructors. So they, they're, they're strong. Wait, what the is Boa you- constructors, <laughs> boy. Boy, boy, boy constrictor, <laughs> or yeah. are they building the freeway? They got basement? the yellow hat, the yellow hard hats on. <laughs> hey, we we found some asbestos in your basement. One of them got a con. He still can't speak. He got a bunch of cones up. It say it say reroute. It say if you can't even go downstairs, you got to go upstairs to go downstairs. <laughs> We found some faulty wire. Burr constructors. <laughs> Construction snakes. Constructors. <laughs> they find it asbestos in the ceiling. Wait, wait. How do you say it correctly? Boa constrictor. <laughs> oh, boa constrictor. It's boa constrictor. <laughs> you know what? And you are every now every you to hear you are a miracle of St. Louis public schools. Because I can just tell right now, like you were on the bubble. There was no spelling bees. There, there was no. <laughs> Hey man, I don't y'all like snakes. I don't give a shit what it's called. Y'all it's gotta die. It, it's it's gotta die. I don't go to the reptile. These cage. are the boa constructors. They built this zoo. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even and say You know what's crazy? He said, he bro. Said, this, this is what's crazy. When Pat said it the first time, he's like, boy, boy constrictor. I was like, that nigga said it wrong. <laughs> Oh, you trying to correct him? You, you corrected correct me with the construction. Before I had said it, before I had said it, <laughs> when Pat said it, that was like, that's wrong. And then when I said it, I was like, ha gotta be right. And y'all was like, nigga, uh, no. See, here, like, go my, here go my fear of not being able to know all the words. What if I buy fake clothes because I don't know how shit is spelled? That's why you got to always know how shit is spelled to hear because you just, you be scaring me sometimes, bro. Hey, Levi, L-E-V-I, my boy. That's all I <laughs> That's not good enough, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, Balenciaga you know, you is a don't big word, no bro. Levi oh, I ain't buying no Balenciaga. I'm, I'm t- Levi, so I die. I'll see his jeans say L-E-V-Y. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are the new Levi's, right? <laughs> <laughs> All his jeans just say jeans. <laughs> right. Order 10 pair of levies. What are these big-ass water things? <laughs> Oh, well, they they say, the was a hospital. anymore. Nah, was to, him, to him, he got like the Homer Simpson effect. His closet is just full of the same blue pants. <laughs> <laughs> Can't fuck it, it up. Easy. <laughs> it makes it easy when you you dress in a uniform. So <laughs> I'll tell you. To hear things, that's a polo hat he got on. Like yeah, this is a polo hat. <laughs> 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 niggas just selling him for whatever. <laughs> This is the uh, this that new Lenny Vuitton, you know. This what I mean? is this is the uh, this is he's the like, rustic edition of Polo. Uh, this is he's like, this is Balenciaga. My God, that says baloney. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why it was Polo. delicious. I know it's still baloney. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna fool now. Ain't no, ain't no chicken with food now. I'm gonna fuck up some of these food. I mean, some of these these, these clothing labels, but food, nigga, nah. 
Baloney <laughs> was one of the first words that made me not trust words. What? Bologna. The way baloney is spelled, I'm like, what the? What are they doing? Bologna. Made it is so easy. Y'all could have went I E. Y'all could have went with a Y. At, you baloney. know what I'm saying? Like, what are we doing? B A. Bologna, baby. The good old <laughs> fried bologna. I feel like baloney was a little late. There's there was some some untrustworthy words way before that, like uh like quiet <laughs> or quite <laughs> quiet and quiet. I remember I learning them shit. <laughs> well, you know, well, even school, like get that H out of here. What are we doing for no reason? Oh, oh library was the first one. Library uh, in Feb and February. I was like, February, wait, what's going Wednesday? on in the middle of the I'm about to say Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Was like, when did in they? When when oh my gosh, Pat, remember when you thought that Michael Jackson song was about a librarian girl and not a Liberian girl? I can't confirm or deny this. <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful <laughs> bean footage we got a librarian. He really thought you it was thought, you he thought was, he was saying Liberian girl. Think about which one makes more sense. Liberia. Think about which one makes more sense. Liberia. What's more, what's more all, likely that when, you're in a? When in, you know Michael we're Jackson talking about Michael Jackson. When, but when I'm when saying did you see Michael Jackson go to a library. <laughs> if you were going to sing a song about somebody cute, you could be in a library in any country. But the the, the chances of him being in Liberia read. and seeing what. Some women are not even allowed to read. First of all, I I'm not even a hundred percent sure where Liberia is. I was about to say that. Like, <laughs> I'm not even sure it's a real place. From Liberia, it's next to the library. Liberia, 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 Liberia. Liberia. He's singing a song. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what was that beat? Like, you, you, you fucked That's up that librarian, librarian girl. I don't think so. That was ABCs, but no, that's a five. It doesn't, it doesn't sound it doesn't like Mario sound Brothers go 2, quiet, like. War 2, In the Dark. <laughs> do, 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 do. No. <laughs> go back and listen to the song. <laughs> uh, I think it says Liberia. Where do you think Liberia is, if you could just take a guess, Pat? Africa? Yes. Is it Africa? Uh, okay. Yeah. It's probably some, some pretty hey, cold well, Liberian girls then. You exactly, and all that's babies. why it's called Liberian girl. But I mean, think about people's like standard fetishes. It's teacher, librarian, what? Cop. Cop. Pornos. That's not exactly. If you, you go to if you go to a pornos? if you go to a sex shop, you're not going to find a Liberian costume. You'll probably find a librarian costume. What is a librarian costume? Glasses. Mm -hmm. I'm in a <laughs> Nah, you, you kind of look like a you kind of look like a sports equipment manager. <laughs> it's the jersey collar. A librarian wouldn't wear that. <laughs> it's the shirt. You a, a librarian wouldn't wear that. And then if you but were like, the secretary, it would be a different outfit. It's not just the glasses. You're you know? the secretary with your titties hanging out almost, but yeah. your shirt up. <laughs> sports equipment manager. I can just imagine uh, Lulu just renting out soccer balls. I got four of them out, so when somebody bring one back, I let you borrow one. <laughs> I got a couple basketballs, and I. <laughs> it's not a library. Uh, Get the four soccer balls. <laughs> Get out my office. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, Pat, did you watch know, for six today? Wilsons? Did don't we, don't fall back on the coochie did jokes. Did you wash your coochie today? Uh, don't get cornered into did the coochie. Did you wash your coochie today? <laughs> no, I gotta uh, I gotta check out a loofah from you. Let me get two. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, don't bring me into this. Y'all know I'm the loofah spokesperson. Why, 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 why? <laughs> oh, and CP put a loofah up his ass. <laughs> Is no, the I still not. there, CP? I got a wash loofah and an ass loofah. <laughs> <laughs> what if you oh. accidentally use the wrong loofah for your face? <laughs> Has that happened? What are we doing? <laughs> Pat needs to get a loofah from Lulu. First of all, you could you could have two different color loofahs. First of all, you, you do understand that. Like, yes, I was just like, saying, have you ever mixed them up? I also, your I booty loofah brown. My face, though. I use a special <laughs> anyway. Your so your booty loofah is light brown, right? 
<laughs> so here's the thing, Lulu. He said that you had a sports collar, and now because of that, I have to deal with a loofah joke for about no, eight you weeks chimed ago. in too. Uh, I thought, I thought that was pretty funny. I said you could rent out the soccer balls. You had an order for six Wilsons coming in this week. <laughs> you know, I guess we all, you know what I'm saying? You know. So strangers or snakes? Strangers. Yeah. Strangers. 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 Now, but hold on. I, 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 before we say stranger, because there are some like pedophiles and rapists that yeah, could be well, that man. We're killing the person. You, exactly. That makes you kill it better. The person. He's in your house. You, you, you can kill the person. Okay, so see, I've been burglarized before, and just the thought of somebody being in my house, like it just what about a hundred snakes? That doesn't disturb you. Well, when you know when they're gone, you call you know animal control, they get them out of there. They gone, they gone. Man, man you have to account for you. So you'd be like, wait, 99. Where's the other one? Like you have to keep your eyes on 100 snakes. Why That's a lot of snakes. People. Where are they go? They in my basement. They not oh, gonna they're come coming through the vents. They start in the basement. You think that the man not coming upstairs to use the bathroom? He starts in the basement. You that's where you found him so at. How do you, so how long has this man been in the house? That's what I'm saying. Y'all don't know how has it he been don't in the matter. You shoot to kill. <laughs> what you talking about? You <laughs> asking the wrong questions, Meg. That's that's creepy to me. I don't want nobody. Exactly. That's why you shoot him. Let me let me ask you a question. He What's already that? seen me. It's a violation of privacy. Exactly. You, that's why you gotta kill yeah. him, man. Listen, let me ask you a question. I'm not saying don't kill him. I'm saying so y'all clearly have never been burglarized because even after you recover yourself, there's always a psychological element no, of like, been, yo, been, I was violent. You never get to kill him. Once you kill yes. him, you can go to sleep now. That's, like, that's the thing. Him. I think, Meg, I was just gonna say, I think that. Feeling comes from not knowing if they're gonna come back. No, so, it's for the me fact it does. That you was living your life, and somebody was rummaging through your stuff and took it. I know, yeah, and then now I you sent a warning to, to whoever else want to come it's up in the house. It's not enough that he's dead. You want his memories too? No, <laughs> I'm saying enough for me. He saw off my ass. And I and like and people's trauma, okay? Because that's what it is. It's trauma, and y'all think that just because an accuser is gone, that people don't no longer have Man, trauma. Go and see a therapist. <laughs> Call that shit a day. What if he has a creepy family that also breaks into people's? I'm shooting house? the whole family. <laughs> you don't know. Does I'm it a... help? You feel better? Yes, but then you're like, why did it happen in the first place? Because somebody else be gonna. Yeah, I it's... used to be the one doing the robbing. This is a turn of events. I like it. Let's just switch it up. <laughs> Let's keep this shit spunky, you know? I woke up, dip said Lulu. She said, I used to be the one. You know, she ain't hitting corners. Corn to corner. <laughs> Ghost face, Lou. <laughs> I feel like if I opened the door and there was a hundred snakes, I would just close the door and I wouldn't have to deal with it until, like, I'll get an exterminator. You don't have to go to court if you kill a hundred snakes. I, why would you guys want to deal with court and and... Murder yeah. and all that stuff. You got to deal with like police. You got to go to the station. They got to take your statement. Get That's why because if on the one street. of these boa constrictors bite me, then all I got to go get shots and rabies and all the extra shit. Why? Like, I'm not doing that. They That's would cool. constrict you. Exactly. I don't want to be constricted. I like dog, doing the constricting. Your dog, your small children. You know. What? Are, nobody's going in the basement. They in the basement. Close yeah, you can close door. the door. Yeah, the snakes can't open doors. We didn't talk about that enough. They can't yeah. open doors. I've seen snakes open How the, the door. fuck you think they got in there? They got in there through the open door to open the door. No, nah, you, you said through the fence. What if that tree? man was licking your feet at night? CP, see. what if you was asleep and he just was licking your feet and he would go back down to the basement? That's what. Patrick man, would like that shit. You can't get deader than dead. You understand me? <laughs> Like I, you know, now all these guns I bought, I'm, my wife is like, oh, okay, I see what you're saying now. And it's like, see? People were licking I mean, our feet. I have, look, I have firearms as well. I live Hey, in low key snakes only open those. Uh, I, I just the saw ones with the handle. Doors. It's like a handle like that, like yeah. those corporate doors. That's not going to be your basement door. They're not going to learn how to open a knob that's you locked. You don't know that. I just <laughs> evolved. So you just not going to do laundry. All right, cool. Well, <laughs> I'm sure you going to get tangled in one of your dreads. <laughs> nah, the uh, the snakes. I, I I I highly doubt a snake can get out of the basement. So a nigga can get out. 
Yes, and he can lick your feet in the middle of the night. So I don't want that. So I'm scared. Don't worry, that, that snake gonna crawl right up your ass. You gonna like that shit, Pat? It's gonna feel like home. Hey, oh, you know what's crazy? You. She tried to do that earlier and it didn't work. It don't matter. <laughs> you it mad about the collar. It worked for me. <laughs> you it mad worked about for me. At least one of us plays sports. You don't know shit about that. Hey, but you just swung two punches and missed. So that's and not I'm I'm still in the game. <laughs> You're not as athletic as you say. Still in the game. <laughs> two swings, two misses. Still in the game. Looking for anything that'll help us right now, please. <laughs> still in the game. Oh, All I right, what's the answer then? Which are right, answers? Let's, let's put it Stranger. to a vote. What are we going with? Snakes. Stranger. Snakes. Snakes? Yeah, I'll probably go snakes too. So. I mean, that's going to be a long exterminator visit and getting all of those snakes out but you it's know. not gonna be me <laughs> <laughs> i'll be in a hotel <laughs> all right well snakes have it on, you on that one we're gonna move on to the next topic right after this would you rather own a helicopter versus a yacht <laughs> and this is a decent sized yacht this is a yacht where you can have are like 10 people, 12 like people, six, six staff members, and a captain. Who's flying the helicopter? The helicopter. Now you can fly it or you can hire somebody to fly it. And wait, how many how many people does helicopter hold? Like six people? You can get you can get some of the bigger ones where you can have like the pilot, co-pilot, and then six or eight people in the back. Damn, eight people? Mm -hmm. That's a plane. No, no, no. They have it. The seats are right next to each other. And they, so you got three or four seats next to each other. And then you got the other seats right across from you. Uh, okay. I don't know. Helicopter might be one of the most ballerish things ever because yachts are like more for events and parties. And you can always rent something like that if you want that vibe. But helicopter, like if you were using a helicopter day to day to bypass traffic, that's way more convenient and dope as fuck. Like those, them be the uh, buildings downtown that have the helipads on top and like a secret entrance. You don't ever mm -hmm. see them people. You remember? You remember um, when Kobe mm -hmm. Bryant had a helicopter and he took it? He took it to downtown. Mm -hmm. This and we were like, "Yo, that's like he's like the coolest dude ever." He came in our office and shook our hands, and he was so kind. I'm oh, sorry, that just made me remember when he came to All Deaf. Yeah, I can't mm -hmm. think about a helicopter without thinking about Kobe, honestly. Right. Yeah. But, but I mean, I will say this, though. Um, water makes up a huge part of the world, right? But no bigger part than the sky. Like, the sky is everywhere. And a helicopter or anything that can fly mm. can connect you to anywhere versus that yacht. I mean, you can't take that yacht mm. to, like, Utah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's just a different story. I think that... But that I, helicopter only going to get you but so far. That gas tank ain't but so big. Well, I'm talking about stopping, refueling, whatever. But, but if you're in the middle okay. of the ocean, how are you going to stop and refuel? There's no place... Don't to fly stop. over that motherfucking ocean. Right, you can't fly but over that ocean. You can't, how you far can't can you go fly? everywhere. You can't go everywhere with the helicopter. How well, far I, can you fly on a helicopter, y'all? Do y'all know? Um, I can look it, it up. it depends on the helicopter. But this, this, is, this is the inside... Hold on, let me go to a four-seater. This is an eight-seater. Dang. It's way nicer than I ever And they thought. got storage in the back. So you put the storage on the outside of the helicopter. Uh, you, you put the storage back there. Damn, this nice the tabs you got open. It's cool, but it's not as baller as a... Uh, yeah, it's a lot of tabs. It's not as baller as a private <laughs> Man, Relax, bro. Pat, tell Pat to share his screen. I guarantee Pat got <laughs> oh, what the, more. Why? I mean, hold on, wait, I'm gonna let everybody share their screen. Nah, nah, go ahead, Pat. Show your screen. Oh, you I'll so share it right now. Tabs. I'll share it. Right we got a lot of business, girl. You got a lot of shit. Sure wasn't business. What? Not nah, that bad, right? Nah, what, nah, oh, nah, your, nah. oh, your computer must have shut down. Wait, where's the this other is, one, Pat? This isn't my work computer. That's why. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's no way that's all the tabs you got open, man. No, that's <laughs> man. How many tabs laptop. you got open? Oh, I got a ton, but I closed my thing out so my oh, my laptop no run better. But hey, don't try my... to do a, a go around tab off round table just because you got a lot of tabs open. No, my I have more than than to hear. <laughs> Lou, how many tabs you got open? I only got one tab open. This is for y'all. That's it. Uh, 
Okay. That's CP? Um, I probably got like like four tabs, really. My, I got phone, OCD. my phone has all the tabs, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. I have OCD. I can't oh, have yeah. a lot of tabs open. It'll fuck with my head. I don't like two of those tabs are from the, hel- the helicopter thing, and then other ones are like from YouTube for posting. Uh, you ever have a tab, start playing an ad, and you don't know which tab it is, and you're hearing music, and you got like, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? You got to go, oh, God. You got McDonald's open, Burger King, Wendy's. <laughs> okay, so the longest <laughs> stop. <laughs> Who will get here first? <laughs> <laughs> and begin the games. <laughs> <laughs> you just wait the last the 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 which one of you guys are gonna make it <laughs> okay y'all the helicopter said it says the longest like the longest flying helicopter can take you 1200 miles but that's like the longest range that's most not that far, that's not that far what's the what's the nearest city to los angeles that's 1200 miles away vegas i don't know now, is Vegas, that? Is le- Vegas is less than twelve hundred. Less? How far is uh, Hawaii from Las Ve- from LA? Damn, that's far. Because Hawaii, yeah. what five hours on a plane? The plane's yeah. going approximately like five hundred to seven hundred miles per hour. But here's the thing, though. Plot twist: a lot of people have Damn. helicopters and yachts, and they park their yacht. I mean, their helicopter on top of their yacht. Mm-hmm. So. You could literally, without owning a yacht, fly 1,200 miles into ocean onto a yacht, sit that bitch on a yacht, fuel up on the yacht, get off the yacht, and continue to fly some, some Grand yeah, Theft Auto shit. Yeah, but you don't have both. You only got one. You could fly to Texas on a helicopter then. Oh, you can fly from L.A. to Seattle mm-hmm. and then some. Hawaii is 24, basically 2,500 miles away from oh, yeah. so you're L.A. Like, you can't yeah. do that. You gotta stop in the middle. Get so pick. you can only be local with a helicopter? Nah, you can fly somewhere and refuel. But I Vegas mean, is, if, if you flying over the ocean though, local. like that, you gotta it gotta be like I don't know, like a fuel. It's like a car, yeah. 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 See Vegas, in the middle Vegas of the ocean though. No. The middle of the ocean is rough as fuck. You don't want to be on that bitch with your yacht neither for real. Why? I thought yachts can withstand that. No, uh, yachts can't withstand like not... with the ocean for real, for real. Like it get crazy. That bitch is is kind of I mean, like we ain't going to the Bermuda Triangle. I mean, all right, that's not the only ocean spot. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about rough waters, like all right, I'm just saying, like it's not smooth seas, bro. Listen, if I wouldn't take no yacht across the waters. We be eyed in a yacht. Hell no, nah. you y'all be trying to take yachts where they be fishing for crabs. What's that uh, crazy ass show where they were? Uh, that catch. catch. Yeah, they were just trying to survive for some for some Alaskan king crabs. Like hell no, nah. man. Nah, I'm with not the, with that. the helicopter. Me, is, like, all right, thank you for your service. Mm. The helicopter is if you know how to fly, you can do that on your own. But with the yacht, something that big, where you need like a staff. Like you can't really do that on your own. Yes, and, you like, can. In- to here, you can fly. You can. If you can fly a helicopter, that takes training. You have to have training to drive a ship. Mm -hmm. And there's one captain who drives the ship. So that's the same thing as one pilot who flies the helicopter. But boats usually need like a bunch of people to just make it work. The maintenance. No, no, you need staff because people don't want to wash their own clothes and make their own food and all that stuff. That's what that's nigga. Yes. Yes. Okay, but I'm saying that's not that's you're acting as though you can't like. You can't helm a ship. It's the same time. You got to learn just like you would have to fly a helicopter. Man, I'm good. Uh, give me the heli. Give me the helicopter. The helicopter. I feel like I can. I can get in and out faster with the helicopter than you can with the yacht. Depending on where you're trying to go, your destination, the distance, and all that. Look, Wait. I don't be on the ocean. I be out here in these streets, and a helicopter would get me where I need to go beautifully. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like for for practical use, mm-hmm. I would love a helicopter. Like just from like 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 past here, bypass traffic, but then also just to be more efficient. Getting taking traffic out of your day gives you hours back. Mm-hmm. And you know and- if you've if you've ever taken a cruise, I do not want to be on the water that long. Okay. Yeah, it's like, daunting getting part. out there. You go out on the um. You walk on the outside of your cabin 
on your patio and you look in, in every direction, you don't see anything but water. No land, mm -hmm. no land farms, no landmarks, anything, oh, no. just water as far as the eye can see. That's daunting as hell. But be really with a helicopter, you can make weekend trips so much faster. Are you going to Palm Springs, going to Joshua Tree, going to Vegas? That's a quick hop in the helicopter. Forgot about that. 30 minutes, 30 minutes, you in and out. Um, Ooh, one time me and Josh took a helicopter from, was it LaGuardia? Might have been LaGuardia. They come and pick you up in a bus, not a bus, but a van, and they take you to like a, a private uh, airport. And then the helicopter takes you from, from there to, the uh, what is it, Midtown? Not Midtown, but uh, Manhattan. And then they have like a little area you can wait till your car comes and picks you up. They have a bar in there. You sit down, have some drinks, get some. Wait, where's LaGuardia? Uh, New, New York. LaGuardia. It's oh, in Queens. Okay. Got it. Okay, so you flew over New York. Yeah. And that could, that's a that's an hour car ride sometimes, depending on traffic. Or you can get on the train and cut it down a little bit. But this and was like a 15-minute 15, 15 uh, helicopter ride. It's dope. And technically, you could travel the world. You would just not be able to go directly, like, equator. Like, if you go north, you know, where the... In what? A helicopter or a boat? The, the helicopter. Because oh, technically, you would just have to, like, go north and then where the, the lands are a little bit closer. So you don't have to go, like, right across the middle through the sea. You could do that. And you, that you way, you could do could that going south, too. That's scary as hell, though. Well, I'm saying, I don't... I mean, <laughs> I ain't looked at the globe, but I feel like what is down south that is close? You, you go Trying to be Amelia. What's the, what's the closest country to New York outside of like Canada? <clears throat> Canada? Uh, Besides Canada. I mean, you can get to Canada easily. But. No, I'm saying from Iceland Canada, or Greenland? You go across to like Iceland, I think. Hold on. Let me pull up my little globe. Yeah, I mean, so helicopters are like a car, you could just use it locally. I'm not trying to be Amelia Earhart out here and and, and go across the seven <laughs> seas. That's just that shit sounds dangerous as hell. <laughs> yeah, you could go from Canada to Greenland to Iceland to like yeah you and then you over then you in London. So it's I like don't trust the helicopter that much. I think I would just be using it within the city or to like a nearby city. Man, I'm going everywhere in my helicopter. Okay, I got yeah. the money. To but, fly everywhere in my helicopter, and I gotta be like bothered by other people. Oh, I'm taking my helicopter. That's lit. I would be afraid if I had a yacht. I would use the hell out of it for the first like six to eight months, mm -hmm. and then after that, it would just be paying docking fees for like. Mm -hmm. You look up; it's been two years, and you ain't even really seen it. I mean, I mm -hmm. do got a lot of dudes stateside that I would like to go see. Like, I like to go to <laughs> Texas real quick, you know. <laughs> then go to Atlanta and come back, and go back to Houston, you know. With a yacht, you could sail to Atlanta. Uh, it's gonna Man, take too long. No, I don't got, I don't got that much time. You? I don't gotta have a time to give him. Like he, you get a day and a half, and then nah, the other day you get a day and a half. Like helicopters, way it's way easier, way faster, and it could get you. Like you can still get on a boat, just you know, fly to the dock or something like that. But helicopter. But, but I also think that ship. I don't know. I feel like a ship may be safer. A ship. Yeah, like a yacht. It may be safer because it is, I don't know. I just feel I don't know. This is hard for it's me. Like the ocean can easily kill you. <laughs> just Why easily. you act like you can't swim, Pat? I can, but I mean, like, like what CP was saying. Like you would get in the waters. middle of the ocean and would lose your mind and not even try to doggy paddle or float. You would just say, like, yeah, I'm dead and just succumb. <laughs> well, the last the time water. I swam in the ocean, I, it was very difficult. I had to swim to a nearby boat and hang out for a second because that shit is hard. It is hard. Your Where were you at? You have, you have your little you floaties with? on your arm and your leg? No, <laughs> <laughs> you should have. You probably needed them. I, I mean, if I had them, I wouldn't have to do that. Well, that's what you get for having a little frail body so the ocean just tossed you around. <laughs> you would sink you straight to the CP, bottom, man. Right. I'm going to shut up. I ain't <laughs> yeah. saying shit else. <laughs> I ain't saying shit else for the rest of the go ahead. Y'all just I'm gonna just be here and be eye candy. <laughs> <laughs> I think Meg would bank head bounce to the shore and then <laughs> <laughs> look at her yeah. made it. <laughs> made it. Oh, a dial airplane. <clears throat> Where are you reading? Uh, there's a one in ten thousand chance of dying on an airplane and only five to six deaths. 
per 100,000 registered recreational boats. So they saying that boats are safer. What was the helicopter stat? Well, that was airplane, but it was, it's one in 10,000 chance of dying in an Ooh. airplane. And Wait, we just five... grouping helicopters into that? I mean, we had well, I mean, to. I, it, didn't, it didn't really give me helicopter things. I just had to go off for <laughs> I typed in helicopter, but it gave me that. But it does say helicopters crash more than planes. What? Oh, see? Yeah, that's creepy. I don't know. He said helicopter mishaps are slightly more common than fixed wing mishaps for three primary reasons. Each aircraft has a complicated physics force, which means more can go wrong, such as equipment failure. Helicopter is more complicated and more demanding on the pilot and requires more skill and cons constants. Mm. Uh, da, 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 yeah, I, can I mean, see that. it's it's like even on video games, bro. Helicopters be kind of hard to like. <laughs> that's true. You know what, what I'm saying? You'd be like, no, I'm serious. Like GTA, uh, uh Call of Duty. That is not like, real. Right. But the thing is that they're trying to like um simulate the mechanics of how they stay in the air. Right. So it's like balance, like it's like a it, you know what I'm saying? Like I would I yeah. would I would think that helicopters are gonna move to more of a drone state pretty soon. Like a more of a drone setup as opposed mm -hmm. to just like the one. You mean like four four blades? Yeah, four either up top or four on like the sides. I think that seems like a better. We've proven that that's a seem like a more um, stable like, stable easier. aircraft. Mm -hmm. yeah. All, right. All right. Well, let's put it to it. Let's put it to a vote. What are we going with? I'm going helicopter. 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 Yeah. The niggas did all that. The niggas are still like, yeah, I'll still give you a helicopter. I'm taking a helicopter too. I go hold it. Lula, what you doing? Oh, she she ain't talking. She gonna be I can't. You want to strike for real, Lula? Come on now. Say helicopter. Oh man. Lula, number two, mad helicopter. All right, helicopter unanimous. We're gonna jump into this last topic right after this. Last topic of the day. We have would you rather only speak English? Versus speak every language except English. Oh, that's easy. Hmm. I'm speaking every language except English. <laughs> every language except English. English is one of my favorite languages. That's the only one you know. What you talking about? You know what the fuck I know? <laughs> <laughs> what else you know? <laughs> what other language you know? Sonic <laughs> Kuma. You don't know no. what that is. <laughs> That's the fuck was fuck. that? That's from That's Greenland, it. nigga. Some other shit. No, it's not. You liar. No, Don't see your disrespect. Long, long, No, no, nigga. Some long, 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 You don't know. Pat, did you hear the question? Nah. Uh, only speak English versus speak every language except English. <laughs> Damn. I mean, I guess only speak English has worked up until now. <laughs> oh, you guys are so... I mean, I want to speak another language, but that's just going to, like, add to my life. But right yeah. now, English is, like, that's where I'm at, you know? Here's the thing, right. All the places that I would want to be speaking these languages, I would want to come back to America and be able to chill and watch TV and listen to the radio, listen to songs. If I don't speak it, and don't understand it, then that would really suck for me. I mean, you can find another home, though. Yeah. The, what, but what 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 is better than America right now? Think about it for real. Everywhere. Are you kidding me? Okay, America hold on, ranks hold on. last Canada, on every Canada's single thing. Canada's better, but they speak America English. America sucks. I mean, it's pretty. It does. America, America, everywhere you go, everywhere you go, <laughs> black people. You to, what are you, you saying? America you go, you is like. Something. Canada's America's cool, like but they taxes be crazy. The world. You say what? I say everywhere you go, they got to deal with something. Canada's cool, but their taxes are crazy. Right, but and they also they, don't and their pay weather. For, but that's because they don't pay for a lot of stuff like health True. insurance. True. When I was in Canada, I saw thunder snow for the first time, and I looked it up, and it's a real thing. What is it, bro? It is a blizzard where it is thundering and lightning in a blizzard. It looks crazy. We had to shut down production. It was a thunder snow. I've never seen no shit like that. Was it raining too or just no, snow? Only snowing. Oh, that's but cool. like heavy, fast snow. Like it was like like 14, 15 inches type shit. And it was thundering. Damn. Imagine being freezing and then getting struck by lightning. 
Where, where is this? <laughs> At least in a I was, I was in Toronto. Toronto. I like Toronto. I like I mean, Toronto too, but Jesus Christ. Canada is like mostly nothing though. It's like the edge of America is like super populated. And then it's like the Yukon after that. It's like really, I don't, I don't know. There's something going on up there. Canada got some wildlings or something. <laughs> don't get where, me started, man. Where else could y'all live? Earth, you see yourself, or could you see yourself living outside of America? I haven't been in enough places. I could be in Europe. I could be in Korea. I could be in South Africa. I could be. <laughs> you been to all those places though? Uh, some of them, not all of them. But I'm saying because of like, well, well, my perspective is different. Also, a because I'm an army brat, and b because I was born on a military base in another country. So, uh, like, even though I'm still a U.S. citizen because it's considered American soil on another in another land, it's still a different perspective. Like. America is so small. It is, it's so small. And then as I've gotten older and like now I've had kids, I have a little black boy in America. Like it don't even feel like it's worth it a lot of times to live here because to be honest with you, like we trail in everything in black maternal health. There's no reason why in the great greatest nation in the world that black women are dying it, it, almost at the rate of like third world countries mm. for childbirth. Like that doesn't make sense to me. So but, pick a place, Meg, where would you go? South Africa. Where, where, where would you go? Where you, could you go to live and you feel like you would be able to make a comfortable living? You would be fine, fine and work there and everything. Um, I'm at South Korea, South Africa, Italy, France. Okay. Like, it's hard to say a place you ain't been though. No, but I'm because of all these, like I've researched this because I, like I said, I'm, I was born in another country. Man, the stuff that's going on, I have kids, you know, when you look and see, I, I wouldn't have no problem if somebody was like, you got to go, you got to get out the country. I'd be like, all right, cool. Italy's pretty yeah. cool. Cause they, and like, like the food, they love black women, they so love uh, minorities. They it's, it's a really nice culture in Italy and the food is fly. Yeah, the Would food, you, and like, that's the other thing. If you're a foodie, in these countries, the food is so good because it's so clean, and you don't know the difference. Mm -hmm. So in America, we've been eating trash for so long, we don't know. And when I, I went to Dubai, that. like, the food, there, I was like, oh, my gosh, this, everything is just clean. The food. Yeah, I, was, I was in Canada for three months, and I came back, and it's like everything tastes different now. Mm -hmm. like, like, whatever I was eating was real. Like, the yep. eggs, you crack the eggs, and it was, like, golden you know what I'm saying? And that's like, not even like they're organic. That's their regular eggs. Every <laughs> like, time I, I, I go to Panama and I'm there for like a month and I'll eat like the most food and I'll end up losing weight because the food is so clean and pure. And it's no, there's not a lot of fast food restaurants and shit like that. It's just a different culture. It's a happier culture. People are happier. And then I looked at what, in Sweden or somewhere? They're like giving oh, people... Yeah. What was it? They gave him what? What was it in the news recently? They, they gave him like thirty five thousand or eighty thirty five to sixty five thousand, something like that. To, if you move to their town in Sweden, because mm. they're trying to expand their um their their town. And then there was like um I I was in an Uber the other day and the Uber driver she was from Germany but she had been here for a while and she was telling me how like she just went over there and she was like oh I'm I'm always she's a dual citizen I think and she was like oh, I'll never give up my German. Like citizenship, oh, yeah. and I was like, "Well, why?" Because you said you've been here for the longest, and she was like, "Because Just like, <laughs> she's like, I'm getting benefits even living here. I still get benefits for like health insurance. <clears throat> it, it costs twelve hundred dollars a year to for for daycare <laughs> per yeah. child. Twelve hundred a year. Citizenship. That's okay. more. Some people pay more than that in a month in America. Yeah. Like you just working so hard here just to survive. When other places they really like." Helping you live. So Would any y'all move to move to like Tulum or like Playa del Carmen, something like that, where you could uh, still be close to the states, but got good weather, good food. That's Mexico. Yeah, I don't like Mexico like that. Me neither. That's more. I like going for a vacation. Yeah. Mm. I it's mean, you still can make videos. I can make videos anyway. I, I did a couple of videos in Panama that went viral. I don't need okay. to live in Tulum. All right. <laughs> Is it just because of the tourist thing or is it because of something else? I don't really fuck with Mexico like that. Okay. 
Yeah, Mexico. I feel like the world's better than Mexico. Just Mexico in itself, it's cool. But like, have you been to Europe? I have. I've been to London, Paris. Uh, I've been over Amsterdam. I've been to uh, what's the other one? Uh, we we went there when we were. Spain. You didn't go to Spain. Went to Spain too. Yeah, that's where I bought. What's your favorite place over there? I like London the best. London's my favorite city. Really? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like the art. I like the old mixed with the new. I like how you can go two streets over and it's like cobblestone, mm-hmm. the old hard concrete stone buildings, and then you go a couple streets over and you got all of this glass and steel. I like how they blend the two different worlds. Um, yeah, man. I like London. Yeah, London was cool. Yeah. Food suck. London. But London. Food suck. Yeah, food, 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 big trash. Food is big trash. trash. Everybody <laughs> said everybody. It's like I, I lost weight in London too because I didn't really eat. I was just like, this is <laughs> trash. It was like, trash, bro. It was like Amsterdam the- has good great desserts. Amsterdam has great desserts and great fries. Like they got f- fries is they thing. They like all the dipping sauce for the fries. Mayo, and muscle, Amsterdam? spice muscle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, because they be hot. Oh yeah, very <laughs> high as fuck. Well, that's that was lit. If y'all didn't live there. in America, where would y'all live? Canada. Mm. Basically, America. Yeah. because yeah. because Canada's still like America flavored. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> still, for real. Still, I so think the core of America. Yeah, United States is like we're like the best on our rock of the Americas. Maybe when you start going to other places, but I feel like. You talk about North America, South America, Canada, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, well, North America, Canada's in North America, but I'm saying like in all of that, United States is, I think we're the dopest. Yeah, I would, I would live in Italy. I had such a great time in Italy and that mm. shit was just like super dope. The culture's dope. The food is dope. The scenery, it was just hands down a great experience. You know what I like about Europe is that you can, you ain't got to go far to go to a whole nother country with a whole different culture. Yeah, and it's cheap That's too. Dope. Yeah, we buy tickets when we we flew into London, and then we decided we wanted to go to Paris the next day. We flew to Paris the That's next day. And when we were in so Paris, dope. we decided we wanted to go to Barcelona the next day, so we flew mm-hmm. to Barcelona. We bought all the tickets the night before, and they were they weren't more than like a hundred and ten euros. Yeah, That's and so then you could have took a train. You could have took yeah. a train to go to Scotland. Yeah, the train. And- Another five minutes. It's it's that's, it's a nice old vibe over there. Yeah, we took the train from Amsterdam to London. That's so dope to me. Wait, you from Amsterdam to you saw y'all went under the water under the English Channel. Was it there or did we take the train from? No, I'm sorry. We took the train from London to Paris. No, um, Barcelona. Birmingham. It was Birmingham. Birmingham to London is where we took the train to. Ah. Oh. It seems it's like moving between small. countries out there is like moving between states out here. They're so yeah. close. Yeah. Basically. It's way easier. Yeah. That's so dope. You can go and then you can go to like you could just hop over the water from like Spain, Portugal over to Africa. Like it's yeah. nothing. If you take us a dope. cool little month, you could see all of that shit. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. That's so dope to me. All right. So what are we going with? Speak English versus speak every language except English. <laughs> English. <laughs> After all that. <laughs> English, English, <laughs> nigga. After, Wait, after everything you, we said, I'm still you, like, nigga, I'm not giving up rap music. Fuck but could you me. learn English if you learn all these other languages? Nah, you can't you learn. Learn English. You know how the wizard works. You know how the wizard works. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm speaking all the other languages. Nerd. Yeah, I'm gonna speak all the other languages. Too. That's dope. Yeah. You know how many languages there are? Yeah. I can languages. just get an app now to translate right. to English. Mm-hmm. I hear you. Damn. Pat made a good point. That's just worked up until now. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, life is changing, man. I want to go out overseas, man. I want to go to you still you can. Know, and you still live. Listen, to, Luke, uh, I, Japan. See, I see great success and wins for your future, Luke. When you're ready to go somewhere else, you can have a translator with you. And that person's going with nah, you. They be, everything they I say. learned my lesson with translators, man. They be translating their own shit for their own good. Yep. Like, nah, that ain't what I said. Chat right. GBT. We gonna have we gonna have Android translators before anything. <laughs> they they got some now. They got the, those I think little Google things you like the in. translate thing. Oh, yeah. they have headphones mm-hmm. that you can the put in your ear, you know. and it translates. It's a Google headphones that it translates for you whatever that you're hearing and translate whatever language it is. Okay, mm-hmm. 
Now, how do I say it back, though? How do I right. respond? Yeah, to they'll it? tell you how to say it back. Okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, that's yeah, too that's much. All right, so two for language. every other language. And CP, what did you say? I said English. English. Read <laughs> English. So English has it on that one, man. Uh, Ooh, thank- dummies. Whatever, nerd. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Squadcast versus Man. Shout out to the OG Squad, Patrick Cloud, Meg Scoop, Lulu, CP, and I'm to hear more. We'll see you next week on another episode. Peace, guys. <laughs>